Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill with the third episode in the Adventures of Sterion, our current hero. Here he is, Sterion, male level 10, high elven necromancer, ready to explore the Steam version of Ancient Domains of Mystery. I think we sold all the stuff we didn't want to keep in the last episode. Seems as if, yes, we did. And in this episode, as promised, we are going to do something a bit risky, a bit exciting, but I really like to do it. We're gonna go up here to this place, to the unremarkable dungeon. So, let's go. Getting attacked by a barbarian group? We can fight them. We can fight them, definitely. Chance to train our whip skill a little bit more. I don't think that the barbarians can do much harm to us. Mm. <coughs> oh no, that's no problem at all. Excellent. Let's take the bread. The arrows. Yeah, the, the, the pickup menu has been changed a bit. You don't have to confirm the pickup, you just press the buttons and you automatically pick it up. Thanks to Scatcat for pointing that out. I kind of messed that up in the last episodes. <laughs> And here we go, entering the small cave. We know that the downstairs is up here, but it's a long way, and especially we have to cross this very long corridor, which is a bit dangerous. Well, there's one thing I want to try out. The scrolls labeled Ovid. They are right, quite... They're quite common, so I hope that maybe they are identified. I try this single one, and hope that it is probably blessed. Ah, crap, no, it was cursed just identifies a single... Oh, it's Black Dragon Hide indeed. Great. But we've got enough scrolls of identifier. I'll read one... Wow! That's blessed! Now we know all our items. Let's take a look. Swift broadsword. That should sell for nice money. Mm. Then, what else do we have? The Arrows of Hunting, we knew that. We have got Mithril, Corals of Darkness. That's good if we find a... if we find a... crossbow, that means. <coughs> sorry, sorry. <coughs> We've got Stunning, Cold, Door Creation, Magic Missile, Lightning, Trap Creation. Okay, that's not bad. Door Creation can be handy here. We've got... I oh, still didn't drink the training. Potential Charisma, Potential Learning, Toughness, Insight. Exchange, that could also help us a lot. Invisibility. Nice. Stun recovery, best potion in the game. <laughs> Just joking. And what scrolls do we have? Literacy check, best scroll in the game. Well, well, I, I'm quite happy with that and I'm gonna drink the potion of invisib... Uh, at first the potion of training. Healing skill goes up a bit. But then I'll drink the potion of invisibility right now. That makes the thing here a little bit less dangerous. I hope that invisibility will last long enough to reach the stairs. This guy is still neutral, the orc is still neutral, I remember them. Ah, and we're visible. I don't know how strong the orc is, I'll try to do that safely with magic. Frostbolt. Okay, that was a weak one. Neutral monster, not gonna fight it. Mm don't need anything of that. Uh, eat the cops though. And swap positions with this guy also. Let's swap positions with that guy. We don't want to mess around with them. We are already quite high level. Oh, a warm cloak. Not bad. Lots of neutral monsters. I'll close that door just to make sure. Kick that away. Close that door. And um, ah, we have to kill the bat. Frostbolt. Oh fuck. That didn't work for whatever reason. And kill this guy. Okay, good. That worked, and we are down on the next level. I also want to check out uh, the cloak, because it might very likely be better than what we are wearing. Cloak of defense, nice. And we've reached the unremarkable dungeon. That was the most dangerous part already. <laughs> Probably a bit anticlimactic. Well. All of you who know the game for a while can confirm that uh, crossing the small cave with a higher level character can be really dangerous. Also, I have lost a couple of promising 
adventurous to uh, that location. Blink dog. Okay, okay. If the blink dog wants a fight later, it will get it. That might make the thing a bit grindy, but you know that uh, there is one thing in the game that I always grind for, which is blink dogs. <coughs> we are chaotic, so there's no reason for the dog to like us. <coughs> Neutral cat. Leave it alive. Crimson potion, nice, and we eat the bandit. That's safe. Okay, how do we kill this guy? Magic missile, maybe? Yeah, that worked. He can take a lot of damage. I want to kill him with a ma magic missile, though. And down he goes. The fine thing is, I see another spell book, and that's a new spell. Let's find out what we just got. Darkness. Well, not bad. Utility spell. Five hundred thirty casting points. Excellent. That's uh, Hill Orc Sergeant. Okay, the, he's he's not weak. Let's kill him with magic. And finally, we've got a hostile blink dog, and that means I go to that bigger room up there, and we will have. Okay, I, I will rename him. That's Blinky Bill. I was asked in the comments of another video why I rename the first Blink Dog that I meet. The reason is Blink Dogs um, sometimes spawn allied Blink Dogs around them, but it can take a while until they finally decide to uh, spawn these Blink Dogs. That's why I don't want to kill the one named Blink Dog that is already spawning. Just so I can make sure that there is a a nice supply of blink dogs that uh, lasts until I get a corpse from one of them. I kill everybody else. This guy has the green spot above his head, which means he's the named one. Blinky Bill. I'll leave him alive and kill the others. Oh. Where is Blinky Bill? Up there. Okay, no problem. At the same time, there's a good chance to... Oh, that's it. We already got the corpse. So now let's try to reach the corridor. Reach the corridor, I said, before the corpse rots away. Here we eat the blink dog corpse. They don't like that, that's for sure, but uh, we feel very much in control. Now we've got teleport control, one of the most useful intrinsics in the game. Good thing is, uh, blink dogs are creatures of law, so it's a chaotic act to kill them. But um, we are already chaotic, and we don't intend to change that. So that's not a problem. I will increase find weakness two more times, three more times. Yeah, fifty. That's already a good skill for a spellcaster. And now we can just uh, fuck. There comes the the cat. I'd like to... I don't want to kill it. Pick up the black garments. We already had black garments. Well, however... Kill this guy with the frostbolt. Oh, that was firebolt. Okay. And we'll get rid of the dogs first. Now, zap of the wand of stunning against the cat. It is stunned. That should enable us to outrun it and close the door on the other side. Nice. Frostbolt the troll. See what we missed. Potential charisma and a bit of gold. Excellent. We've got teleport control. I'm really happy about that. Like I said, that's one of the most useful intrinsics in the game. Especially when we get our hands on the... Do we want an anvil? No, we don't want an anvil. When we get our hands on the uh, the guaranteed wand of teleportation, which we definitely want to do, eat the troll. Regeneration bonus, cool. Did we already see the downstairs? Yeah, there they are. <coughs> no, that didn't work. Magic missile. It's better. Shoot 
this guy. Large orc, okay, they can do a bit of damage. I should maybe have been more careful there. Oh, Blinky Bill! Blinky Bill runs away, and you know what? I'll leave him alive, just in case we lose our teleport control at one point in the game. We need to return to a Blink Dog. We know that at this level, at UD1, we can find another Blink Dog. Let's see what kind of a statue that is. You stumble upon a statue. It appears to be a ferocious looking orc carved from jade. It wields a great axe with a bloodthirsty grin. A great axe with a bloodthirsty grin. How can a great axe grin? The inscription at the bottom reads The Warlord's Fury. I want to fight the warlord. Let's kick the statue. Yes! Nothing happens, okay. You hear the sound of rushing water, maybe a river or a water trap. And also there is a tension room on this level. Tension rooms, as always. Oh yeah, here it is directly. Features goblins. So it's a mixed tension room. Okay. Use a bit of magic to clear it. Now there's a potion on the ground and I really don't want to destroy that potion. That's why I use magic missile. The bold spell which doesn't destroy items. Ha! There they go. Excellent. Invisibility and another spellbook of Frostbolt. Like I told you, we will probably find a whole lot of these. I want to read it directly. I don't want to carry that around. Just not worth it. Since we already have got more than enough castings. 818. Once again, we are above 800 casting points. Jekylware. These guys summon a whole lot of jackals around them. But it went down quickly. Oh, and we've got herbs on this level. We have got herbalism, yes we've got, but I really don't want to do any herb grinding in this episode, in this run, that's why I just pick them up, I don't want a herb garden. Pick up the leather cap first, so I don't have to confirm every single time I try to pick the herbs. Even more. Yeah, I'm still rather positive that there might be a bit of more gear root among that. We'll find out soon. At least we've got another blessed potion of invisibility. Okay, that was the water sound, a water trap indeed. I've got a little pop up right above my mini map, which kind of sucks. Well, I, d I don't care. I'll leave it like that. I hope that you cannot see the pop-up on uh, in the, in the video, but it's a Steam pop-up, so probably you don't see it. I think that um, OBS should only record the the game graphics. Even more herbs. That's more gear roots. Excellent! Wow. So let's start with our more gear training. How much did we get? I see twelve at least. Let's eat four of them. One. Two, three, four more gear roots. What's that? It says that somebody wants to watch broadcast. Well, I, I, I do not know if I can confirm that. I, I, I will try that out. I, I hope that I won't make anything bad now. It, sh it tells me to press shift and tap. I'll do that. Welcome at Steam Broadcasting. <laughs> I just click the button that my friends on Steam can watch me playing. Or just anybody can watch me playing. I, I really don't mind. Okay. Excellent. So uh, I hope that that was not to be seen in the in the, uh, in the the game now. Wait, how do, how do I get away from here? I want to go back to the game. Ah! <laughs> Wait a second. Ah, yeah, that worked. Excellent. So, guys, <laughs> probably some of you are watching live now. 
while I uh, uh, desperately tried to attack a worm, which was just too good at dodging. Anyways, that's funny. I still have to get used to all these uh, fine steam features. Okay, Ogre Magus, we already find out that we can handle this guy. And uh, <laughs> the almost ironic thing is that we use his weapon against him, Frostbolt. He can poke us a lot with his Frostbolt, but he actually cannot resist it. <coughs> so let's go. Already knew the downstairs up there. And the next level. You feel excited! Wow, that's not bad. That means we've got a lesser vault on that level. Remember, the last lesser vault gave us a lot of great equipment, but probably cannot enter it. At least not easily, because it's a uh, null vault on the other side of a river. Well, we'll see if maybe we find a way to cross the river. Otherwise, I've already got an idea, but, uh, well. Sometimes there are kind of natural bridges. Apparently the river crosses the whole level. Yeah, we don't get over here, but we have got the frost bolt, so let's make use of that. Do uh, We are below 2,000 stones, so that should not be any problem. And here we are crossing our ice bridge to the other side of the river. I also like to get to that room. Frost bolt, frost bolt, frost bolt. That's of course the perfect spell for this task. So, hmm, well, nothing to be found here, but there is yet another room. <coughs> and it, uh, it even features the downstairs. Interesting layout of the level, definitely. <coughs> Need to eat something. I start with a with a heavy food. <coughs> Second, let me take a sip from my water. Now that's one of those levels. If you're not a really good swimmer, if you cannot breathe underwater, or if you don't have the frost bolt spell, you can spend a whole lot here. Uh, oh wait, fuck! Oh no! See what what, what just happened? Our great black robe plus four turned to ashes from the explosion. Oh man, that's annoying. But we don't need to use Frostbolt here. I just found out there is a secret door at the end of this corridor. Yeah, here it is. Okay, and we've got the Null Vault. Let's see what it drops for us. Maybe some nice improvement. Maybe a new armor. <laughs> that would be fantastic because our armor class just dropped down to eight, 18. Seriously? 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? No, it's 10. 11. 11, that's the armor class. We've got one from the from the birth month. 18 is the defense value. Stupid me. Oh well, I didn't play a lot uh, in the last month. I'll pick out the battle axes, because battle axes sell for really good prizes. Even the ordinary iron ones. Not Russian, well, I take that. Spellbook of Frostbolt, yeah. yeah. I really think that's a bug. Uh, you should usually not get that many Frostbolt spellbooks. Here they come. Okay, this guy hit hard. That's also a. <coughs> the armored gnaws, the, the large gnaws, are a lot tougher. <coughs> <coughs> I prefer to play that safe with magic. Okay, that was some damage even from the ordinary null. Come on, kill him. I 
getting them all on the ice bridge. Apparently there is another way to get there because uh, one of these uh, hyenas just attacked us from behind. Getting hungry. Okay, well we'll eat something soon. But first there are a couple more nods to be killed. Okay, they are doing damage. They are doing damage. We should be a bit careful. I try to melee the ordinary gnolls. Uh, it would be really advantageous if we still had our armor. So pick up the money, pick up the battle axe. What did they drop here? Strange metal girdle, don't need that, but we take the necklace. We take the battle axe, take the metal ingot. Magic missile spellbook, excellent. Uh, take the f perma food and the money and the gem. Carrying too much to walk any further. Okay, I see. This is the right time to eat more of the really heavy food that we just picked up. That should maybe do the job. Can we walk now? Yes, we can. Good. Also, we're not hungry anymore. Eat another large ration. We are strained. Stranger. That's not bad, that trains our strength skill, and that's what I really intend to do. Mm, brown potion. Nice. I also feel like creating another 100 buddy. If we get away from that isolated square here. Kill these guys. Noise from all directions. Yeah, that's a really, really good uh, lesser vault. It's uh, the layout with these snake shaped rooms, which usually contain lots of monsters. The ordinary, uh, the, uh, the different vault layouts have got a different number of, uh, of monsters as well. That's our new uh, ghoul buddy, excellent, and a potion of toughness, fantastic. By the way, did our toughness increase already? No, did not increase yet. Still waiting for the Morja training to pay off. Ha, killed them both. And we made another level. Just reached level 12. What do we want to increase? Hmm. Find weakness really goes slowly now. First aid, no, 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 no. Healing, uh, we don't have any talents that really increase quickly. I almost feel like going for the couple points of alchemy, just to get it up. Going for the couple points of dodge, just to get it up. They are so slowly to increase. And putting the rest on stealth, I think. Um, stealth increases automatically, but we don't have any really uh, useful skill that gets a lot of points now anyways. We also got another talent. Not exactly sure which one to take now. Hmm. Got treasure hunter already. I think I take the porter talents to increase our carrying capacity. Always a good thing to have. Mm, so far we didn't get... Oh, our mana already increased. Let's create another undead. No. Another ghoul. You see, our mana is already up to 24. Really nice way to get that start far up, thus increasing our power points. Oh, oh. We are a little low on power points right now, though. So I guess I go to normal mode, a little more defensively, to kill the tough now. Yeah, 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 those. Those gnolls. They are not weak. They are surely not weak. We are at 50% HP right now, around about. And I see another spell, but cool. And I see lots more gnolls. Invisibility, always good. Battle axe, yet another one. A ring, a spellbook of magic missile, yet another one. 
potion and a gem. I'd like to kill these guys with as few spells as possible. Take the gloves and the hatchet, good price. As well as a wand that we don't know yet. Warhammer, okay, good. I'll check this direction first. A new spell! Yeah, well, when we're done with this level, we have to do another reading session. So, let's go. Nope, nope, nope. Frostbolt up here. Kill this guy. Frostbolt. Kill that guy. Oh! Oh, oh! The ice breaks. We are too heavy now. First aid. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that very much. Um, we are on rather low HP. First bolt. Here comes that guy. Hmm. I'll wait a couple of turns to regenerate. Generating so slowly. Kind of sucks. Have we got healing herbs? I don't actually know. Pepper petals. Here are pepper petals. Let's eat them. One, two, three. I'm back to 67. That's good. So I go up here and hope the ice don't break. Yeah, yeah, I'll leave that one hyena alive then. Rather get up here. Oh, the ice breaks. And the metal cap rusts. Oh man, that sucks. Can we apply first aid? No. Of course not. But I think we can kill him from over here. Frostbolt. Yeah. And that means we are practically done with that vault. There uh, should be a secret door up there, I think, or probably not, but up something up here. Yeah, here it is. Well, but now we have to reach the stairs again. How heavily are we burned? Uh, that's a bit too much. Maybe if we eat the heavy food, iron ration, Iron ration, iron ration, iron ration, and iron ration. That should be enough now. Ah, almost. I drop the leather cap. I'll drop the anything else. And I think we've got some crappy herbs, if I remember correctly. Mm. Yeah, devil's roses. Demon daisies. How heavily are we? Ah, you know what? I just read the books. That should do the job. Get away from there. I'll swap positions like this. And now read the books. They are very heavy. I should have done that earlier. Stupid me. Hey! How dare you kill our slave! Crystal helmet, dudes. That's a really nice finding. That means we don't need that rusty metal cap anymore because the crystal helmet is helm of mental stability. The protection value is lower, but it gives us a bonus, to, a bonus to learning, and it gives us the very valuable confusion resistance. Excellent! What a great job. Luckily, we stayed here for a while. <coughs> Still, I'd like to find a new armor soon. Let's read the magic missile books as well. Ah, go away. Hmm. Ah, you go away too. No, it's not so easy to learn. It takes us some turns, and there's enough turns for the monsters to come and disturb us. 
Might we get a level of castings? Okay, uh, fuck, I didn't see you. Um, Frostbolt. Oh, we've got more than 900 magic missiles already. That's fine. Close the door again. <coughs> we get oh, even more castings. And we've got one whole more book of that. How many castings do we have now? Almost 1,100 magic missiles. And the new spell is Slow Monster, which is also an excellent spell. Wait, what am I doing? I learn. Yeah. Well, fine. And that means now we are back to a very healthy uh, whole weight of 1,600. That's no problem. That uh, enables us to easily cross those bridges. And I'm so glad about those new, uh, this new helmet that we found. That's really one of my favorite helmets, non-artifact helmets in the game. Hmm. Neutral altar. I'll leave it for now. We can convert it, I think. How much money do we have? 5,600. That's enough to convert the altar, but uh, I don't want to do that now. I don't think I want to come back here at any time soon. So I'd rather save that. There's a tension room on this level again. We get lots of monsters, lots of loot. It was already worth visiting the unremarkable dungeon, I can say that now. Well, if we find a new armor, we will be really well equipped. Nine points of protection is not too much for that phase of the game. You know, we were a lot better when we started this episode concerning protection value. Those rats are not dangerous, though. They can't do us any harm. I just, I'm not afraid, just taking into them. Scroll, money. Was that the tension room, by the way? Okay, a red room, apparently. I do not want to kill you, dude. Therefore, I'll use another casting of the Wand of Stunning. Didn't work. Try it one more time. Didn't work. It works. Bye. And we're done with this level as well. Wait, we missed a ring there. I just saw it. Okay, it's a brass ring. Don't need that. Brass rings are always useless. Kick it. Good. Yeah, I think the aim for this episode is to completely do the Unremarkable Dungeon, if it doesn't take too long. And I hope that on this way we will find a new armor. <coughs> I would be happy enough with some studded leather armor or anything like that. Metal cap? Nope, don't need that. That's higher metal. Mithril? Take it. <coughs> Here are the downstairs. Well, anyways, let's... You are an ordinary cave lizard. A uh, giant lizard, yeah. We just kill you. Five and whips. It's more than most my characters, most of my characters get in the whole game. But usually I don't find a good, good whip early on. Good whips are really a rarity. Okay, new herbs. Nice. Just pick them up. By the way... We got the first increase. Toughness is 15 now. Let's continue with the training. One, two, three, four. That should increase our toughness and willpower by one more point. Stomophilia. That's good. That's uh, the best food you can get. Morgia roots for the toughness training. Pepper petals and even more stomophilia. Very useful herbs here. Dark Sage, let's just kill him. He wants to run away. No way, dude. A Dark Sage can be really useful because eating a Dark Sage 
provides an illiterate character with the literacy skill. That's why for, uh, for barbarians and beast fighters, dark sage corpses are really valuable. You can also get the literacy skill by other means. And we've got a leather apron. I think I just equipped it. It has an average protection of 2. This one also has 2. Nice. We've got more than 10 protection again. That's not bad. Mummies love fire. That's why we give it a fire spell. And I think we're already done with this level. Shoot. Shoot. By corpse fiend. Corpse fiends can sicken you. I don't want that to happen. I, I actually don't think that it would be strong enough to get through our armor. 11 points of armor should be enough to be rather safe from corpse fiends, but I don't want to take a risk. So, doppelganger. Ordinary one, I guess. Bounce the magic missile from the, wa uh, from the wall. It comes back and hits it twice. You feel excited. Yet another lesser vault. Extra oh, 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 oh. But it's a lesser jelly vault. One of the most annoying vaults that you can get. Luckily, we are a spellcaster. I think we will make excessive use of our magic missile in this vault. Our point is that jellies are able to uh, replicate themselves. And there are lots of jellies, brown jellies, orchid jellies, which corrode your weapons when you fight them in melee. I don't want that to happen, that's why I use magic excessively here. Oh my god, there's a whole lot of them. Apart from that, I think we're running out of power points. Yes, we are. I need to do a little melee fighting. But for this particular reason, I kept one weapon with me. Remember, we sold most of the weapons, but we didn't so sell the crystal dagger. Crystal is one of the materials which is immune to the corroding effect. Nice. Potion of water, another frost bolt spell book. That's for the guys who uh, said that you run out of casting points in this game. Let's just read it. Hey dudes, we're now... Uh, which level are we? Level 12. And that's our casting points. Don't think we will run out of them anytime soon. <laughs> so let's train a bit. Oh my god, this guy does damage. Grey Ooze, yeah. Oh yeah, they're dangerous. And we're still bleeding. Let's apply first eight. You stop the blood loss. Very good. Oh yeah. To lure them down here. Use magic missile. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. Our dagger skill is not very well trained. Or our um, protection value goes down when we use it. I think I scout the rest of the level first and regenerate a couple of points on the way. Uh, that's a chaotic altar and I think I want to make use of that. Still, using chaotic altars is always a bit dangerous because chaotic humanite monsters could approach and sacrifice you when you stand on the altar. To avoid that, I take one of our wands of door creation and I create a couple of doors. Here, here and here. Close the those which are still open. And now we should be able to easily use that altar. Um, drop everything of unknown status. Yep, and pick it up again. <coughs> I'd like to check out these amulets. Perseverance. Silver tongue. Don't know that one. I think I take perseverance at least for a while. Got another cloak, but the best one is still the cloak of defense. And we've got a couple of rings as well, I think. Ring of stun resistance, why not? We don't have anything better. And the aquamarine ring, why not? We don't have anything better. <coughs> Alchemist gloves. Okay, we don't need these though. 
Well, that's everything I wanted to do. Let's check. Um, okay, we cannot bless water yet. I will sacrifice a bit of gold so we can bless our water and make it holy water. Sacrifice 2,888. Is that enough? No, no, not yet. Sacrifice another 2,000. Very pleased. That's what I wanted to reach. That means we can now drop our potions of water on the altar. Pick them up again. And they are holy water. Perfect. Oh no. If you're asking how did these guys get there, I'm sure I know they just replicated like crazy and I suppose the whole level is full of these annoying grey oozes now. Dog creation. Luckily they're not humanoid, they don't have any hands and cannot open doors. I'm not even sure if I want to really clear that vault because it's really annoying having to fight these millions and millions of... Uh, or super annoying jellies. Train a bit with our daggers and once again we're bleeding. Uh, we're really not very good in melee, you see that. I don't want to take any really big risks there. But do we want to do the vault? I really don't know. I really don't know. Spellbook? Frostbolt. Yeah. Thousand two hundred castings. Let's frostbolt a couple of them. Magic missile t takes less power points, so I'd rather use that. Oh, two potions of water. Thanks. Dropping nice stuff. Gel Antidos Cube. Yesterday I saw somebody on the screen dying to one of these guys. They have a really dangerous paralyzing attack if you don't have high protection value. Uh, rather, rather so to say, if you have really low pr protection value, they are extremely deadly. Wooden ring. Nice. I replace the Aquamarine ring by the wooden ring, because the wooden rings are always rings of fire resistance. That means from now on we can easily kick those doors, because we don't have to be afraid of uh, fireball traps anymore. Well, we could still destroy our equipment. Oh, mithril short sword. Don't need the brass braces though. Uh, try out the mithril so short sword. Maybe it's better than the on the dagger. Nah, surrendering, I don't think that's good. It's, it's even adamantium short sword, but surrendering doesn't sound good for me. Let's rather stay with a... Uh, hmm. With a crystal dagger for this level, at least. <coughs> and level 13. What to increase? Alchemy... Stealth. I think I tried to max stealth soon. Done here. Oh, holy moly. Time to get rid of our power points. Should throw a million magic missiles in there. On the other hand, that also gives us a lot of loot, as you can see. And I'm still hoping for a better armor. Should be able to play this thing. Uh, oh well, not the Oko Jelly. No running out of power points. One more time. Can we get one more out? Yes, we can. Good. Melee the Oko Jelly. It's a bit risky. Does it paralyze us? Uh, the 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 Gelatinous Cube. Mm, yeah, now it paralyzes us. But we can move again. It was the last one in the room, so no problem. One of stunning, cool, melon, gold, gold, loaf of bread. Oh, what is the short sword weighing 48? It's kind of heavy. Maybe it's a heavy short sword of whatever. 
Potion of training, slow monster, red gem. I don't take the ration, we've got enough food. Let's eat something first. Mm, the iron ration. And a couple of breads. Eat all four breads, yeah. Now let's um, read the spell book. I don't want to carry that around. And disappears. Excellent. Well, I think I want to finish the vault in the end. <coughs> Otherwise, we would never know if it maybe would have got us some nice loot that helps us to survive a part in the game where we would die otherwise. Can we lay it? Yes, we can. What's that? Silver diadem. Sells for nice money at least. Throwing knife, no thanks. Where do they come from? I thought we cleared that part already. Maybe they are from another room. Yes, surely they are. I'm quite sure I know where that room is. And they are still doing damage. Dropping an ordinary ring though. And ordinary rings have a realistic chance to be one of the most useful items in the game, which is the Ring of Ginny Summoning. We will see that sooner or later. Here should be another room. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Still got a bit of power points, so let's kill those guys. Also, that's a good chance to train our magic missile spell. There they go. Down. And down. Good. A higher metal flail. That's probably a better weapon than what we have. Oily potion. I'll also take the dry meat. Uh, you guys are so annoying. them? No, we can't. <coughs> 30 HP, I don't feel sick. Halbert? Okay, that w that is a two-handed weapon, sadly, otherwise it would be really good. Leg is level 3, that's okay. Eleven HP, that's not very much. Ah. Uh, okay, that's locked. Magic missile. I think that should be probably locked. Yeah, it is. One more. They're really low. Have you got scroll of power? Maybe. Uh, I think I go to defensive mode to fight them in melee. Yeah. Okay, that works. Definitely better than just... Oh, fuck, that hurt. Want to get three in a row at least. Kill them all. Good. Oh, so many of them. We really have to take care of... I think that's enough. I don't want to fight them all and risk getting in really um, into a really dangerous situation. You see, they are doing damage. They are doing serious damage. By the way, we got another toughness increase. Time to eat some Momogia roots. One, two, three, four. That will also... A higher toughness will definitely increase our... Um, increase our... our health points. That's much appreciated. Have we got some kind of healing herbs left? Pepper petals, yeah. Probably the cursed ones first, if we have any. No, we don't. But we've got two uncursed pepper petals, and I'll eat them for a little bit of regeneration. 
and I also eat the blessed one. So we are back to 70 HP. That feels a lot safer. Well, we should be almost done with this location. I think uh, it has eight levels altogether. Leave him alive, yeah, maybe. This should be the second but last level, though. I want to finish the unremarkable dungeon in this episode, definitely. So in the next episode I will show you uh, another very interesting and very important location that probably some of you don't know yet if you're from, uh, fr uh, fr from the newer players. It usually takes at least a bit of skill to reach that location. Problems are no problem, not with 12 points protection value. Dropping a potion, thanks, and I also like to take the money. Are we hungry in any way? Nope. You wanna run away? Don't think so. Bam. It's an ordinary iron shield, ain't it? Yes. Ah, it's a dark orc, ain't it? It was a dark orc and you saw these guys hit like hell. Should not have melee him at all. <coughs> also check this corridor just in case there's something nice on the ground. But nope. <coughs> Ordinary shield. I won't identify our stuff in this episode though. Okay, there's the fire vortex. Where is it now? Where are you? F there it comes. I kill it with frostbolt. Which is of course one of the per perfect weapons against these fire creatures. I surely don't want him to explode into my face. Left side completely scouted, yes. Ah, uh, crystal statue. Uh, yeah, luckily we've got magic missile, which is one of the best weapons against them. Otherwise, they have really high uh, protection value and are hard to hurt. Okay, where are the downstairs? Up there. Control from behind. Don't kill him either, maybe he drops a corpse, but nope, he doesn't. And we've reached the last level of the Caverns of Chaos. Here are the stairs back up, but we don't want to take them yet. At first... <coughs> yeah, dark room. I try to get through there. It's a bit dangerous in the unremarkable dungeon to cross a dark room, especially because it's giant. It's really big. Ah, uh, luckily we didn't lose equipment. Oh, this guy can potentially drain our stats in the dark room. That's really, oh my god, that's scary. <coughs> okay, but that's not where we wanted to go. We didn't find anything else there. Oh, oh, monster. I really don't know how to progress there. Uh, maybe the door is here? No. You know what? I'll just get out. Kill the zombie. Eat the, the bread. I will probably check if maybe there is a secret door in one of these spaces. But apparently not. No. You know what, dudes? That's enough. I think we've reached enough for this episode and see where we came out. We are here in some kind of a mountain valley in the southeast of the map. And what we find here, I'll show you in the next episode. Until then, let me say once again, thanks a lot for your support, guys. Thanks a lot for watching these videos and discussing about them with me. I'm really enjoying that a lot. And I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Until then, go to Steam, buy Adam, and play your own adventure. 
So guys, until next time, bye everybody.